This is the story of Waguna in Niger, where through Islam Ahmadiyyat, Allah is creating a new heaven and a new earth. Under the leadership of Khilafat Ahmadiyya, a spiritual revolution is taking place, where living souls are coming under the umbrella of one Khalifa. Join us to see the story of the people of Waguna and how the message of the promised Messiah is reaching this corner of the earth. Waguna is a small village in the southern part of Niger, in the proverbial middle of nowhere. 80% of this region is covered by the desert. Niger is one of the hottest places on this planet. Electricity is still not available. There is one single place for the entire village to get water from, and the next bigger city is a two-hour drive away. No concessions to modern times. But even though most amenities of modern civilization have not yet reached this village, Islam Ahmadiyyad has, in fact, the hearts of the people here. We introduce to you the spiritual journey of the people of Waguna, those who entered the fold of Islam Ahmadiyyat. One of them is Al-Haji Muazu. He is the chief of the village. The acceptance of Islam Ahmadiyyat has deeply impacted his life. <laughs> One day, long ago, Al-Haji Muazu was busy with his work when suddenly a man came to him. He brought a message with him. Little did Al-Haji Muazu know that this message would change his life. Since his childhood, he was hearing about the advent of the promised Messiah. When he heard that the Messiah had in fact already come, he was confused. How could he be sure that Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed is the promised Messiah Salam, whose advent was foretold. He only saw one way to make sense of it all. He asked God Almighty for guidance. He asked for a sign. This is the story of Ila Ismail Kani. He lives in the region of Waguna, and he was the fortunate one 
who brought the message of the promised Messiah to this village. He himself was mainly inspired by one major fact about Islam Ahmadiyyat. Hila Ismail Khani takes every opportunity to preach about Islam Ahmadiyyat. He is fully convinced of the advent of the promised Messiah. This is his way of showing gratitude to Allah Almighty who guided him on his journey towards Ahmadiyyat. Moi, auparavant, je ne sais pas ce que c'est que Ahmadiyya. En dormant, j'ai fait un rêve. Il y a un homme blanc avec ses avis blancs qui est venu me rencontrer et me disait « Est-ce que tu connais Hassan ?» J'ai dit « Non, je ne peux pas, je ne peux pas maîtriser Hassan. » Il m'avait appris comment faire l'Hassan. En dormant. Bon, il y a des agents du projet Croix-Rouge qui sont venus chez nous ce jour-là. Il m'avait dit « Hey, est-ce que tu connais un sexe islamique qui s'appelle Ahmadiyya ?» J'ai dit « Non, moi je ne sais pas ce que c'est qu'Ahmadiyya. » Suleiman m'avait dit « Bon, il y a un missionnaire à Maradi qui s'appelle Amir Irshad. Il va vous amener des documents. Quand vous allez lire ça, vous allez comprendre ce que c'est qu'Ahmadiyya. » J'ai dit « Bon, mon rêve va, va prendre des solutions. Dès que j'ai lu ça, elle m'avait dit, bon, on va me donner contact de la mère Erchad, elle va m'appeler là-bas à Maradi. J'ai dit, je suis d'accord. J'ai dit, j'ai accordé avec ça. As more time passed, more and more people were attracted by the teachings of Islam Ahmadiyyat. They saw the revival of Islam through Ahmadiyyat. Malam Hashimu too is one of them. He is the Imam of Wahguna. The acceptance of Islam Ahmadiyyat had a huge impact on his life as well. This is Sani Adamu, a Muslim from this region. Some years ago, he started researching about Islam Ahmadiyyad. During his studies, he recognized the beauty of Islam Ahmadiyyad. He saw that this is the true Islam. To shi ne muka samu wannan jagoranci na wannan Hazrat Murza Gulam Ahmad Kadian alayhi salam to shi ne mun kafa da wannan turba tunda dai tahe ce an ci kuma in ka ji shi to kai kai marhaba da shi ka zo wani shi ka bi shi an ka ce ma wa lahu habun ala sarji ko da da rahini da jan gindi saboda shi ne fa inu kalifatu lana mahadi wannan shi ne kalifa shi ne imam mahadi kenan shi saboda mutun ne mai shiryawa wanda duk a duniya kasashe da dama shine kalifa guda kuma shine ake bin umurnar shi gaba daya to ni yasa zu ta tayi na'am da cewa kungiyar jama'atul islam kan ahmadiyya lalle kungiya ce ita ce warta ci gaba ga sauran kungiyoyi na addinin musulunci the people of waguna were blessed by the opportunity to accept the promised messiah alayhi salam the imam of this age they entered the community led by one Khalifa. They came under the umbrella of Khilafat. Even though physically they are thousands of miles away from Khilafat Ahmadiyyad, 
and no Khalifa has ever touched this soil, he indeed has touched the hearts of the people here. This is the story of the people of Vaguna in Niger. A story of those fortunate ones who have entered into the community of Allah and hold fast to the rope of Khilafat Ahmadiyya. A story of love, blessings, and devotion. Ahmadiyya Zindabad Ahmadiyya Zindabad